Welcome adventurers, today we are doing the Contorted Realm, one of the most puzzling peaks of time adventures in the entire AFK arena. So the idea of this map that it's bunch of isles connected with the small bridges and they will disappear as you pass by. So you will have to closely follow this guide in order to get all the rewards. First things first, we would like to step on this jump gate, in order to do that we will have to defeat those common enemies. Let's step on the jump gate. And now we can go to this island and collect all the chests on it. After taking everything we step into the portal and jump to another jump gate entrance. Basically stepping on the jump gate makes it your return point. Now we'll step on this island, the bridge will disappear and we'll have to defeat those enemies. Make sure not to step on the jump point in the middle though. Now when the relics are yours you can step on that island on the south and take out this normal enemy. After defeating him you can claim those chests and fight one more common enemy over here. When this is done you can cross the bridge, it will disappear and over here you will have to step on this jump gate, let's activate it. Now we can take out those enemies and when all the enemies are defeated you can go on this island on the right. Here it's pretty straightforward, take out this elite enemy group and take all those golden chests. Now you can step into the teleporter. From here go to the north, alright, take the golden chest, take out common enemy and now you can go to the next island over here. Do not step on this jump gate as well, just fight the elite enemy and get the golden chests. From here you would like to go east to this island, take out this elite enemy and step on the jump gate over here. Now you would like to go south to this island and take out elite enemy over here as well. When this is done, take all the golden chests as always and step into the teleporter. Now we will go east to the island over here, take out this elite enemy, take the chest. Basically there is no other way than to go south, take out this elite enemy and claim all those golden chests. When this is done, step into the teleporter again, ta-da! And from here you can move to the area on the north. Now you can go and take out all those golden chests and you can try to take out those chief enemies. They might be pretty powerful, even my high level ascended team is weaker than they are, but as I said earlier, using mercenaries can help you with that. Let's see if we can beat them and uh, you can use Tessie for the crowd control, you can use Ainz for additional damage, Shamira. There are a lot of good heroes that can be useful for this fight. And uh, our core team is actually doing fantastic job, so we will most likely win this fight. That was a close one, but we succeeded. Let's claim the crystal chest. Nice. And from here we will go to the west, ignoring this portal. So let's step on this island, take the chest at the north. You can also take out this elite enemy in order to get more relics. And cross the bridge to the west to this island. Let's clear the enemies and claim the chest and step on the island to the west once more. From here we'll go north facing this elite enemy and claiming the gold chests over here. Now let's go east and step on this jump gate. Alright, when this is activated we'll go west and step on this island, take those chests and step into the jump gate entrance teleporter. From here we would like to face this chief enemy as well. Once again, this one is pretty hard, so use the same tips that we had in the last fight and try to beat him up. If you can't beat the bosses, you can just skip them and come back to them later, just claim the normal chest to get more loot. If you manage to defeat this chief enemy, you will be able to claim two crystal chests. The one with the artifact fragments and another one with another artifact fragments. From here we'll go to the east to this island. And we will have to face way more chief enemies. So let's go one by one. The first group will have to change our position a little bit. We will need more damage here. If you manage to defeat the group before this one, you should be able to beat this one without any significant issues as well. Fantastic. Let's claim the crystal chest. Nice, more artifact fragments. Second group, we have a lot of Graveborns here, so uh, Wilders will be a good option for this fight. Another crystal chest. Nice, and the last group of enemies. After defeating those guys, you can claim the last crystal chest, and bam! 
you're done. Congratulations, the contorted rail is 100% completed and you have unlocked the forgotten mine. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you find it useful, please like, share and subscribe to the 8K Arena official channel, where we will be releasing more official tutorials and content breakdowns. До свидания.